Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to give you guys a quick update as to, you know, how the last week has pretty much gone for us. And it's been a few days since, you know, the Bay Area has been on lockdown. And ever since then, a lot has happened, including all of California going on lockdown. And the Canadian borders and the Mexico border has closed. Both borders have closed to non-essential travel, which basically means if you're not a trucker or if you're not traveling across the border for business or commerce, then you pretty much shouldn't be traveling um, across any border, north or south, which actually did affect us personally because our mother is actually in Mexico right now. She's in Culiacan visiting family so we were worried that she would not be able to find a flight back just because you know everybody who may be in Mexico right now may you know have to scrounge and, and, and find a flight back since you know the borders are closing to non-essential travel. But luckily, we were able to find her a flight and she um, should not be affected by this, hopefully, just because she, um, I mean, she is a U.S. citizen and they're still letting U.S. citizens, you know, back into the country um, as long, you know, as they have all of their documentation and everything, you know, and their passports and all that. Then she has all that. So we don't have to worry about, you know, her getting across, but I will keep you guys posted. For the past couple of days, we actually have um not been going stir crazy as of yet i know my younger sister and brother they have you know gone out and taken the dogs for walks and those types of things so that has helped them um being that it, they are actually new to staying home um they've been going to school and they've been working you know so same as you know my other brother so you know they're kind of used to that whole routine of getting up and you know getting out of the house so i think this is a bit of a change for them i have already been off work for my injury for the past three months um healing so it's not very much of a drastic change for me since i'm already used to not you know having to get up to go into the clinic but i'm pretty sure that they're feeling it you know and not being able to like go out and see their friends and those type of things luckily we you know we have food for the past few days we've been able to you know get some takeout because those you know takeout foods and things like that are still open and when we go out and go on an errand like go to the bank or go to the grocery store which which are things that we can still do so there's literally no carts like anywhere to be found Let me see if I can help this lady get to her car and then help her load her stuff and take her cart back. These guys are so long. Yeah. You could say that again. <laughs> They're longer than a green and a conda. <laughs> Guys, where are you? I'm gone. You know, it's good to stop by a drive through or good to pick up, you know, a takeout um, order. And for quarantine lunch on day three, we have some salt and pepper prawns over rice. Isn't it good? Oh, it's so delicious, guys. Um, to, to bring it home and enjoy the things that we love just to keep a little bit of normalcy in, into our lives and, you know, just, just make our lives not feel so locked down because that's truly what's happening is that now we we are are feeling the the difference honestly when i go out and you know run an errand like i can tell the difference in in the roads and in the way that like people talk to each other there's there's a different um energy um when you know when you see people out and about people are 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 more cautious and and honestly i think people are doing um a decent job not a great job but a decent job at, at the social distancing and you know trying to keep a few feet apart however um you you can see the difference in the way that we treat each other i think I, i've noticed a lot more acts of kindness when i'm out and about like i think people are are you know are realizing that we're all in it together because we really are this is affecting all of us no matter if we're in the united states or we're in italy or if we're you know in france like 
all of us are being affected by this everyone in the world nobody is excluded like no matter our race no matter our nationality no matter where we live this is affecting all of us and i think that you know we all need to be more mindful and um more courteous and more loving to one another because we're about to see a lot more deaths and we're about to see a lot more people you know um dying and be being affected by this and wow it's it's very um it's, it's getting real it's getting really real and i think that a lot of people are are going to be shocked just by how real this is really <laughs> going to get we have gained 10 thousand known cases um in the united states and that is scary like that is italy scary we actually are now number three in the case numbers that's not a good thing i mean <laughs> like we usually like coming in you know in the top places but not for a virus because honestly like i know that you know everybody keeps talking about the numbers the numbers the numbers but Behind that number is a real person. It's someone's family member. It's someone's, you know, mother, father, grandfather, sister. Like, it, it's someone's, you know, someone loves them. And, and that is a person who is infected. Like, we keep saying, yeah, all these numbers. I think we get lost in the numbers. And, I mean, all of these people are honestly, like, being affected. And, and I think that, you know, people are, are not seeing it as um severe as it truly is and, it, and it's 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 devastating for these families that are dealing with sick loved ones are dealing with you know the people who have passed and uh, the nation's like in mourning like it's it's really sad to, to think about you know how many families have lost loved ones recently um and unfortunately with the numbers it's so sad to think about that like that could be one of us like the numbers are only gonna keep climbing you guys so please stay safe and you know we're trying to keep like you know positive attitudes here and I'm not a person who gets like very very emotional but this is like this is real you guys this is you know this is real life this is real shtf you know this is this is happening it really is and and i think that we all need to you know come to terms that this is serious and and we all have to you know do our part and be prepared and and be mindful and you know and take care of each other so um I hope that you guys are taking care of yourself. Let me know how you're doing in the comments. I know you guys had requested for me to like keep you guys posted as to how things are going here in the Bay Area. And the Bay Area always has, you know, shown love, love to one another. And even though, you know, we have <laughs> our moments and um, we always come together. And um, and I think that that, you know, that's beautiful. That is that it, it shows. Um, so that is what's happening with us and um if you guys want more frequent updates let me know in the comments i was thinking that if, you know like daily updates was a little excessive um but i think that weekly updates is too far in between being that things are changing so drastically so if you guys want a video like maybe every three days or every two days let me know um i just want to you know stay in touch with you guys as much as possible because i know the media is just trying to shove like a a basic message down our throats and we're the ones that are truly telling each other what's happening in our own communities and I want to know from you too how you're doing um, in your little corner of the world so let me know in the comments how you are and how frequent you would like me to update you as to what's happening here in the Bay Area all right you guys please take it easy stay safe stay prepared and I'll see you in the next update